This video is going to cover how to set up a GC program in easy mode. First, you will need to select a new configuration file to create. You can see we have both the GC1000 as well as the GC1000R available to be selected. From here, I'm selecting the easy mode and just giving this sample program a simple name. Once the file has been named, you can select OK and you'll be greeted with the configuration window. Here you can click and drag or double click to add input, output, as well as switch-like devices to your program. After you've added your input device, you can go underneath connection to select either GC link, terminal block, or remote I.O. block as your connection source. Once your connection source has been specified, select the terminal column to specify which exact terminals this input device is connected to. Notice how the safety inputs are actually paired in groups of two. I will be using safety input 0 and 1 for my GLR light curtains. I will also be adding four cascaded GS non-contact interlocks to my program. To do this, we're going to drag on the GS icon select our connection as GC link. In this case, we're going to select port A. Notice on the right hand side, we have an error message where we need to select the proper unit. Once the detailed settings are opened, you can click and drag a total of four GS units into this window to specify that we have four units cascaded and they are all connected in series. Once you select OK, four GS units connected in series will now be added to your program. So now we have a set of GLRs and our GS units. We're going to now drag a safety output into our program underneath the output devices section and specify which two safety outputs we're going to be using. Notice they're paired very similar to the safety inputs of the GC. Now that we have our input devices and output devices added to the program and all the terminals are assigned, we can go up to the Program tab to start configuring our program. When using Easy Mode, you'll be prompted to select an application for your exact program. Read through each one of these to determine which one matches the description of your exact application. In this case, I'm just going to be using an auto reset to keep things nice and simple. Once you click OK, you'll see safety inputs on the left, safety outputs on the right. We're just going to click and drag our safety input devices from the left hand side into the program, and now they'll be added to the program of the GC. We can go up to simulation to see how this application would react. In this example, if I block or unblock the GLR light curtains, we can see that safety output would turn on and off. You can just click on the safety input devices to see how your program is going to react. Same with the GS units. We can go back up here to edit to terminate the simulation. Finally, click transfer once your program is complete and you're ready to transfer over to the GC1000. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any follow-up questions, please feel free to give us a call. Otherwise, reach out to your local product specialist. Have a great rest of your day.